Ah. What's up machine freaks and welcome back to the winter wonderland. Prince is with me. Well, over there. It's only snowed a little bit since I last spoke with you guys. As you can see, there's a bunch of snow on my tires though. I'm gonna leave those in the back for now, I think, for weight. The new tires are doing very well, very well. I haven't put that many miles on them yet, but for the little miles that I put on them, they are doing a very good job. Now, I didn't plug my truck in, so I wanna show you guys what it's gonna sound like when I actually go to start this thing in the cold. This thing's a southern truck. I know it's not a real uh, being or a living creature like Prince is, but you gotta think if it was a living creature, it's used to the south and she likes to be warm. Prince is shivering. <laughs> Prince, are you cold? Are you cold, Prince? Prince is freezing. He is shaking. <laughs> and so I get the fur, buddy. Nah, okay, she's been sitting for a good 30 seconds. All right, Prince, listen, listen. Ready? Ready? <laughs> the cord plugged in but I didn't plug it into the wall he is shivering like crazy Prince are you ready to go inside let's go inside buddy that's cold out here it's cold out there isn't it buddy he's like I don't want to go out there again so this was the first time that I've actually started this thing without warming it up. And I'll tell you what, I don't think I'll ever do it again. I don't see any benefits. Like the batteries are gonna get killed that way. The engine's just gotta, you see where I'm coming from? But there was a part of me that wanted to see it and I'm glad I saw it and I'm over it. Now I'm going to Kyle S's. I'm actually just pulling into the driveway as we speak. We got three Duramaxes in the driveway. I'll see what they want to do. I'd like to warm mine up more anyways, so I don't care if we take mine, it's just mine's a little dirty inside. So what's the plan? You want to take my truck? I guess so. What are we doing, Kyle? I didn't know the neighborhood are force that big. <laughs> oh yeah. They're a lot quieter than these things. These don't even have any Well yeah, but yeah, these are nice, huh? Big, but that's only a 16 inch rim. Yeah, that's just a real tall tire. But these things hum like crazy and they were bald, yeah. Try going in this stuff? I went like this stuff right here, just just like this, and it just slid. It was like snowboards on my tires. If you want to munch on some of those chips, you can. I might take you up on that <laughs> offer. Boondocker in the road, I guess. Boondocker in the road, you got it. Without hitting the mailbox unless you want to run it over. So I've really never done this before, so I don't know what you exactly want to do, but today we are, uh, what, what do you call it? Marking, marking trail? Trails. Today today we are marking snowmobile trails. We got the equipment, we got our posts. I guess these things can get dangerous. <laughs> Nobody should get stitches today. do it wrong. <laughs> we have never done this before if you can't tell. That's okay, we're volunteering. I think we should get an E for effort at least. <laughs> don't, you, don't you say? That looks good, man. Here's our first little run here. Got our first little rip. Got the string here so that nobody goes through their yard. Rip. Most important part is just so that people don't go through this person's yard. Because that wouldn't be any good because then the trails get shut down. <laughs> Okay, over 
Yeah, you gotta make sure you put it at the right angle. I didn't know which way they were yeah, coming. coming out of the no. That this is for the people <laughs> that go off the trail, right? The people that aren't the people that aren't already listening to the rules. <laughs> Just a nice little small crooked reminder. You guys, that looks way better. That guy's already questioning our ability. I would too. <laughs> Okay, look at us. That looks good, you guys. So that's that's the minimum. Is that what you're saying, Devin? <laughs> yeah. That's you got to be <laughs> repping at least ten. Ten and over. This team of young riders here. Yep. Oh, okay. battery's changed. The battery in my camera has already gotten so cold that it's already died, and we've only been filming for like 20 or 30 minutes. So I'm hoping this one doesn't die either because I brought two batteries. Now we gotta run one to the street up there. So we're gonna like dodge that telephone pole, go to the left of that and go right through the yard. This is high quality volunteer craftsmanship. This guy doesn't, I don't think this guy likes what we're doing. what we're doing. Hopefully Jeremy's making him happy. Now we have a second visitor. The last guy said that we have to move the stop signs a little bit because they end up, they end up crashing into his mailboxes. They end up crashing into his mailboxes. So we're about to make some modifications. I'm gonna go ahead and put more poles on. Tracks all over the place. We should fuck them up. <laughs> How's it going? Good. Good. Snowmobile trail is coming along quite well. It's like a 6 0 Dura stroke. Dura <laughs> stroke. First vehicle I ever owned. Yep. I smashed right into that telephone pole there. <laughs> there the funny thing is, the old Ranger? Yeah. I drove by and I seen it just do it too. Rear back to the Now we're getting near traffic, so we gotta put a bunch of posts up so people don't like kill themselves. It's probably gonna be time consuming. More posts. How many, how many more you want? No, probably not. We had to stop back by the shop to get some more posts. It's been quite an eventful day. It's been really fun marking these trails. It has. What, what do you say, Devin? Has it been a good experience? It's been a great experience. Phenomenal. Look at we even get to wave to people. It's like, hey, how's it going, buddy? And then they wave, and then we feel good. Let's hook this up to the old D-Max. We made it to the railroad track. A lot of railroad enthusiasts always give us a hard time when we cross Jake behind Jake's house on his railroad tracks with our dirt bike tires. But here, New York State actually mandates this or allows us to do this. And people have studs on their snowmobile tracks and they can screw this. So things can always be worse than what we do. We started way down there by the road. There's a trussle right here and there's a semi coming under here. I'm doing this and he chirped his horn like six times. He was digging it. Team spirit. See there's this nice black pipe here. And we don't want it to screw up anybody's snowmobile, so we're gonna put this nice orange post in the way of it. Yeah! Get some. Good enough, Chief. Looking good. So the plan is, is those two are gonna take off in the truck. Kyle and I are gonna go up the trail here. And we're gonna mark some stuff. I already have my, what is that thing called? The pole hammer? Post, post, post pounder, my post pounder's up there. Those guys are gonna go to lunch without us. We, we got we got screwed. 
This has been a very fun and a very cold day. I'm looking forward to the lunch, Kyle, how about you? If you guys ever have a chance to mark trails, it's a wonderful time. Someone's gotta do it, that's all there is to it. You doing her dirty? Oh yeah, only another half mile to go. They should make machines that ride through this white stuff. I heard they're coming out with something this year. This year they're gonna come out with something? Yeah, snowmobile or something? A snowmobile? I think it's called a snow dog. I bet you they'd come in handy right now. Kyle and I met back up with the guys. I'm here with Devin. We're riding in the back of the old Chevy. We only have like five or six more signs to go, I think. And I believe it's lunchtime, right, Devin? I think so. I think he's buying. He's buying? Looks good, boys. Stop here. Head off. Let's look around that tree there. Yeah. Looks good. Oh. Okay. Trader in. <laughs> The po 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 police. I think he's trying to lose us. We're gonna burn some rubber. It feels like you're running at an incredible rate here. <laughs> the hell's gonna get that down? <laughs> that one's staying up till next Looks year. Good. Looks really good. <laughs> Look at that rooster, he can't stay on the cable. I'm gonna go get a shot of him. I don't know what that rooster's doing, but he's a hit. He's a good time. We had a lot of fun, it's been four and a half hours. Like, there's still a lot of signs. We use a lot of posts, though. Still a bucket of reflectors, too. The 3D Machine snowmobile crew is all done. 